Hi guys, I'll be Dave here. And I am Ash. Together in a room <laughs> on a Friday night, on a rainy Friday night. <laughs> With wool. With wool <laughs> and guitars <laughs> and beer and coffee. And also... And a goat. That's probably so loud because it's right next to the microphone. Uh, right then. It is Friday, Phrygia. Um, I've been at college all week, learning to be an old electrician. Yes. Not had a shock yet. I'm doing all right. Also had his birthday this week. Had my birthday this week. I'm officially 38 years old. Woo woo. <laughs> what? Why the sad face? 37 feels like you're closer to 35, yeah. so your mid-30s, 38 feels like you're almost 40. You're as old as you feel in your head, and I'm still 18, <laughs> so it's okay. And you're as old as the woman you feel, so... That's only two years difference, love, you're not... You, you know. just said you're 18. Oh, I mean in my head. You're 18 in my head as well. <laughs> I got a 36 year old body though. <laughs> right, um, Slaughter to Prevail have released a new song. Nice. K.O.D. What do we think K.O.D. could stand for? Kill on demand? I don't know, but because it says COD, it just makes me think, obviously, C.O.D. Call of Duty. Yeah. K.O.D., K.O.D. Because you've got, like, D.O.A., Dead on Arrival. Yeah. K.O.D. Kill only about... death? Death and only death. I don't know. Are we ready for it, though? Yeah, I think so. We're recording the old way now, so we record to a camera and a PC and a glue all together. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, you need to update The Last Driver, I really think. Because we've changed the cables, we've done everything else, it has to be the graphics card. It has to be. It's, well, the, the, the Elgato, Elgato card, yeah. separate to the graphics card. That's but yeah, I mean. it probably is that. And anyway. Probably the graphics card as well. Let's just throw it all out and just start again. No. Yeah? Drivers, just update them. Slaughter to prevail. <laughs> K-O-D. Are you ready for it? I think so. Are you ready for some D? I'm always ready for some D. Kind of darkness. Kid of darkness. Right. I saw you going for a pause, by the way. That's fine. It's just... <laughs> I know, it's just... It's so angry. It's so slaughtered to prevail. Like, it's not my kind oh, of music. Oh, what a pause. Look and at that. That is fantastic. It's not my kind of music, but I do appreciate it. I do really enjoy it. Yeah. But some, uh, the reason I wanted to pause was you can see the bump of scar on his head from when he was bashing his head mm -hmm. on the... Obviously, on tour with yeah. the microphone. And somebody in the comments said that the white eye is actually a... I saw contact. it at a contact lens, but then I've seen things with him saying that he was having surgery on his eye and he yeah. almost lost his eye. So maybe... But the white, it doesn't... I, I, it, I wonder, because like, if you have cataract surgery, for example, they have to cover your eye for X amount of time yeah, afterwards. They do. Maybe there's a protective contact lens you could put over it maybe. if you've had surgery. Maybe. Because it's a weird but, but Did he say lose eye or lose eyesight? Lost, almost lost a sight in one of his yeah, eyes. It's a sight, not the whole eyeball, I was going to say. But it wouldn't surprise me with him. He'd probably just like, for you know, for the lols. Oh, that's like a Venturizen. I know. Yeah. 
Heavy, heavy chew. It is very heavy. Brutal. There's something weird about them with just a white background, though, that's a little bit more sinister. sinister. I was going to say it than, doesn't... It works, yeah, doesn't it? With, yeah. with the masks and the way they, they dance in, and I've seen all of their gear. Like, even the guy in the socks, he seems more sinister with his drumming. It's just all of them. It it's is, just, yeah. just the w- simplest really background you could possibly do, and for some reason it makes it darker. It does, bizarre. yeah. It's really good. Clinical, probably. It's probably because it's more clinical. Yes. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. understood some of his screaming for, for once that's what happens the more metal you listen to i start to hear it yeah you'd be amazed like you can listen to the sort of death metal bands that have been around forever like, it's like saying flesh, being one of them flesh is. to the bone you forget something it almost the, something straight in away, the though. darkness yeah. oh it was really good it was really sick that song Do you know what? that guitarist is fucking unbelievable when he did that little solo and it changed the whole tempo of the song that was my favorite bit like that was amazing like what a fucking legend I, and alex is really cool but he did turn to the side and i did see was the line contact? of contact but i think you're right because his pupil is milkier than his other pupil so it seems like it's a protective layer that's gone over so maybe they do a different form of it because they've, said, they've done studies where they talk about putting patches over people's eyes can distort your image afterwards because you have to yeah. like retrain your, your eyes. It's like, 
how like if you've had your leg um in a cast for ages and not use the muscles it starts to atrophy obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. so there's obviously modern medicine is trying to find ways to protect and heal but also allow you to not lose that ability so it probably you're probably right it's probably a protective layer maybe maybe I mean, he's been known to do things anyway, like scar his face and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So you just never know with Alex Terrible. But that right? that was a, a wider contact yeah. than yeah. would be for just like colour contacts or like the contacts you yeah. wear. I have seen people with blackout contacts though. That's the that's whole of mental. the eye. I know. I've seen some cosplayers do it. It's mental. Yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, it was so brutal. I don't think it was a deathcore song because Slaughter to Prevail are kind of a deathcore band. And I, I don't think that is deathcore. Oh, right. See, I, I, I know the like genres, the, all so. the genres and subgenres and stuff. Like you'd have to be a metalhead to really know. Mm-hmm. And even then, metalheads argue about what genre mm-hmm. a thing is or what subgenre something Did. falls into. Okay. Um, it's like there's lots of gatekeeping with genres, and you can't listen to certain words. I don't buy into any of it. I can't give a shit anymore. You used to. I did used to when I was younger. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I don't think that was a deathcore song. That was like. More like kind of new metal, you know, from okay. the early 2000s where it was just simpler guitar riffs, down tuned guitars, and it was just about being fucking weird and aggressive. It felt more like a new metal song, but just with a different twist on it. Let's know what you thought of that. Yeah, I really, I mean, I, I like Alex Terrible only really mostly because of the last Christmas cover that you did. <laughs> yeah. There's some more so covers happy. that we need to check out. Um, Pain Remains apparently is a great cover that he's done. We've not reacted to all three of them. No. The Lorna Shaw ones yet, so we no. need to get two and three done. We do. Because um, I love Lorna Shaw. Alex Terrible has officially signed up for the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships oh, as well. Really? Yeah, so I think they, they wanted to sign him on, but he was on tour at the time or something. So, end of the year, November, I think he might be having his first wow. proper sanctioned Bare Knuckle fight. Can we get pay-per-view on that? Because they started changing pay-per-view it, these days, haven't they? It'll probably be streamed, I'd imagine. I don't think there'll be a channel on TV for bare knuckle fighting. I'd imagine that you stream it. But well, pay, pay I mean. to stream it. Like, yeah, like pay-per-view, isn't it? They yeah. call it. So I'd watch that, though. I'd watch that. Yeah. It was like, it's like the McGregor-Mayfair fight, you know, Mayweather. when Mayweather, yeah. when they did, you know, the crossover between WWF and, you know, boxing. UFC and boxing. That's it, Sorry. <laughs> It's a Friday, it's been a long day for both of us. It's been a long fucking week, mate. It has, it has. But yeah, absolutely brutal song, I really enjoyed it. It kind of signifies a bit of a change in direction for Slaughter to Prevail for me. Nice. A tiny bit there. So you think that's an inkling to their new album? I don't know, but what I was thinking is, now that I'm getting back into the gym, and now my back's getting a little bit better, when I'm back at the gym feeling good, that, doing weights. Do you know, it's funny, I was thinking about this the other day when I went for my run... I was like, I need some decent tunes. And then I put on Cowboy, Electric Cowboy. And then I was like, proper bopping along. Like, as I was jogging, going, da, 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 Literally. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that too. Let us know what you thought of that in the comment section. Is that still Deathcore? Yes. And would you put that on your gym playlist? That's got to be on a gym playlist for sure, 100%. <laughs> There's a, a band called Marauder that I used to listen to at the gym quite a lot. And one of their albums is my my gym album like if I really want to hurt myself doing weights I listen to a certain Marauder album and it's just like oh, it when I was a teenager and I used to do my uh, five mile a day so I used to do two and a half in the morning and two and a half in the evening it was Marilyn Manson <laughs> you know what I used to absolutely love listening it, to Marilyn so Manson good. and I've just it's gone off and I know it's weird care less anymore. I know it's weird isn't it it's, how, it's funny how your taste changes as you sort of immerse yourself in different music but mm. yeah Marilyn Manson was my playlist I had a little discman used to skip every time I hit certain like steps obviously <laughs> I used to skateboard with a discman oh, nice. and it's exactly the same you do something it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. even with the anti-shock technology oh I know everyone claimed to have it yeah right anyway yeah cheers for that one guys we will see you all very soon bye guys